Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening ladies and gentlemen welcome to the Friday Mic On I'm Nabla Mada Muhammad Tursina honored to be your moderator for this segment tonight we are finally back to 2023 in this semester and we are not going to forget to thank all of you that have been watching this season in very beginning in these seasons we will be more covering interesting topics i mean on a certain topics with our amazing guests so before i introduce the main speaker on this tonight is uh, so before i introduce our main speaker i would like to thank every single person that have been watching this segment so don't forget to share like and subscribe to our seasons with everyone okay with everyone for those who are new to this channel, Friday My Own, where we aim students to share their thoughts or maybe experience that have been their join or some in a sums events. Did you know what does the FASAS mean? It means stands for Facilitator Sahabat Siswa, a club that manage programs such as MHS, which is student orientations, student orientation for intake or for new intake, I mean. Before the segment begin, allow me first to introduce our main speaker for tonight is Azarul Hazri. So would you please to introduce yourself first, Tua? Hello, my name is Tua. I'm the second student. I'm a president of Wasaki and I'm from Swakuti FTKFU. Ah, but all of you are excited to hear their knowledge on certain topics for discussions tonight. We are truly honored to have Tua by tonight to share or talk about their uh, about the manage programs or runs the MH programs. So with that being said, let us welcome Tua for this tonight. Hi Tua, how are you doing tonight? Everything was great today. Everything is quite good. I'm glad to be here and thank you you can me for inviting me. Alhamdulillah, it's great to hear that. So we would like to invite our the presidents of Fasasi team at our speaker corner. So actually, FASASI is the terms of facilitator sahabat siswa. So basically, it's a, and obviously, it's a FASASI which is a facilitator club for UTEM. We handle many events and even join a volunteer team as many events. And we manage to help HEPA or manage second Second massive event in UTEM, which is MHS, Minggu Haluan Siswa. Even though we have go through many process while, while we're doing that, still there is always the moment that holds the day. So actually, uh, if you want to join the FASA C, it's actually, uh, e it's actually, as, it's actually uh, easy. It's just like FASA C will open the application to join. And then they have to fill the application form and they have to attend the interview. So basically, based on that, we actually choose or chose the first phase C by communication skill. And they are trying to speak whatever they think. And we choose based on that. Starting off with the preparation where all the facilitators will be coming at UTEM coming at least one to one and a half weeks before the before the MHS date so uh, for the preparation week we will have the meetings and bonding time which is we pair them mentally and physically for MHS the bonding period is usually one day and one night which is one whole day and we will conduct so many activities to brainstorming the facilitator for the MHS day even before the bonding weeks for MHS, all the facilitators will be facing from TOT1, which is training of trainer, to TOT5, which is training of trainer 5, which is, uh, this one is basically a camp for uh, facilitators to prepare their mentally and physically for MHS day. Through this TOT, we can actually identify their capability and we can divide them into the, um, into the respect 
into the respective excos which is we have a uh, exco makanan exco discipline exco pengangkutan and and uh, mts which is abang long kak yong and abang ah once we all done with uh, all the preparation that all come to beginning of a big week the mhs day from day 1 to day 5 it's just the facilitators or newbies during this preparation we will also have some backup plans if our plans doesn't go straight so the implementation so the implementation is placed during the big week as our unexpected challenge which is a which is a change and sudden reduction of number of facilitators during the latest mhs uh, we have faced booths where, where rain was non-stop and the amount of facilitator reduced by uh reduce due to covid since we all work together and teamwork is the key we manage it smoothly no matter how challenge we face we still work as a team and make it happen even though we do not have a time for ourselves that week yet we do not fail to make it happen at the end of the day we show we share we share all the wish we share all our last day together since day one and the hardest part is saying goodbye to the older facilitator that can join us uh, after this this bond of facilitators is very very important during this big 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 week that's all from me Wow, I think I got lots of knowledge about facility and facilitators. And we are moving on to the next questions. What would you consider the best moment ever during MHS? Okay, not to forget the best moment during the hectic week. The very first day of the newbies was the base day. Because that day, uh, where all the students see UTEM. For the very first time with their parents. So actually, I want... I'm going to tell you about the story of the newbies of the UTEM. The students and parents had so much emotion during the registration. Parents was allowed was not allowed to go until until <laughs> parents was allowed to go until hostel. So all their things was brought from their car to the shuttle bus. With the help of our facilitators, MHS starts with by showing the ways to students until the last day where they are knowledge about UTEM more. Moving on to the fun part, which is refreshment time. It is compulsory for all the facilitators to know how to dance for all our songs that introduced in mhs we will do this refreshment legit every day the last day of mhs made so much of memory where we could enjoy the vibe with the students even for those had another another slot for aerobic where all the facilitator, facilitators was on the stage with the training itself we had some more fun even though we did not know the steps that much well, from what to have shared just now is that it is interesting to talk about useful strategy in selecting good facilitators, which is not only through interview and promising candidates, but engage them in life role play that requires skills like being respectful, listening, empathy, and management. I mean, conflict management. Ladies and gentlemen, finally we are at the end of our Simon Talk. We would like to say thanks again to our amazing speaker Tua for his informative talk just now. I think there was such an incredible and knowledgeable sharing to hear from High Committee, which is FASA CSF. I mean the pros, uh, I mean the precedence of FASA C teams. I'm pretty sure that our viewers are satisfied as I am for a wonderful for our wonderful viewers out there, thank you for joining us tonight. Maybe Tua, you want to give your last words for us? 
uh, I just want to say that thank you for all the UTEM TV members, which is a uh, very good and very supportive members. So thanks to you as a good moderator. So maybe you guys want to join Ofasasi. So we will see you soon. Thank you. And the last word for me is don't forget to join the next FMO, which is Friday Mic on every Friday on every week. Bye bye and having a good day. Oh, I could say that. Have a great day ahead. Assalamualaikum.